G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Factor Modular Rifle. As the name would imply, this is a highly customizable standalone rifle weapon. You can fire this in semi-auto and full auto forms, which is pretty good. And it comes with custom sounds and animations. So yes, not only is it modular, it's actually very um, versatile as well. Anyways, we'll get into these attachments. And first of all, we've got the receivers. Now, unlike the regular gun mods, the receiver doesn't actually change anything of the aesthetics, no mesh changes. This is basically your primary damage increasing thing. So we'll go for the calibrated receiver there because that gives us the best damage, increased range and fire rate, which is actually pretty good. And we'll move on from that. Now for the barrels, this is where you actually control um, your fire mode with this. So right now we've got the standard barrel there, that's fine. You've also got the classic variant of that. That actually does nothing to the stats, but it makes it look more like a conventional firearm, whereas the, st the standard stuff here is more on the futuristic side. So as you can tell, it's an automatic barrel. We've also got a heavy barrel, heavy automatic barrel, and last but not least, a 50 cal barrel for all of your sniping needs. Now, when you've got the um, sniping barrel, you can't actually attach a suppressor, which is kind of lame, but sure, whatever. We're going to go for a nice automatic barrel first, and um, I kind of like the look of the classic barrel more, so I'll chuck that on. That gives us a nice fire rate of 95 there, and we'll move on from that. Now for the socks, um, you basically want to ignore all of these. They don't look a lot different. They're basically just shifting the stock that's already on it, which um, actually requires none of the um, uh, components to do that. Yet, if you want to actually pull it out all the way to here, you're going to need to have Rifleman and Commando at rank 5, so that's kind of weird. So combined actions, perfect fit will give you the best of all words here, so we'll go ahead and move on from that. Now we've got the iron sights on now, but you can have a reflex sight, some sort of short range scope, and a long range scope. Now the optic customization is actually pretty insane, so I'll try to keep this short. Basically, what you do is you attach your desired sight, and then you can go ahead and change the um, how close you're actually viewing to the sight. We'll just go away from the sight, because that's default, don't need to uh, go in closer, that'll just cut off our field of vision, which is bad. But now, this is where you can actually change this thing a bit more. So you get multiple zoom levels with this. We'll go 1.5 because that actually gives us a little bit more accuracy. And I think two times might be overkill for such close ranges as Gunners Plaza. That once we've got the zoom in place, we can actually put reticules on here. And there are so many that, yeah, they'll also come in blue and green forms as well as red, which is pretty good. I want to go for something a little bit basic. I like the line one, even though it doesn't have the middle bit like the Cobra sights back in Battlefield, but that's fine. Now, as for the attachments, you can have no muzzle attachment, or you can put a suppressor on there. Captain Suppressor always puts a suppressor on things, so we're just going to leave it at that. And you've also got a primary little legendary effect holder. Um, we're going to ignore this for now, but that's actually kind of useful. We can have damage modifiers on this, so if you're playing on very hard and you want to actually have this thing do as much damage as you would normal, then you can bump it up to 100% there. But you know what, we'll test this out. As it is, you can put in an extended magazine for 55 rounds, which seems pretty good. And you can change the materials of this thing. What I like the best is the Red Baron. You've also got worn variants of each of these, which is pretty nice. So if you feel like it's a little bit immersion breaking to have a um, very, very clean looking gun, you can put the worn one on, it makes it a little bit more dreary. But Red Baron, that'll do well for us. And of course, there's some more legendary effects here that I won't attach on. Now I'm going to make every single one of these in its different barrels, either classic or um, normal, uh, depending on which I like. And I'll meet you in Gunners Plaza, probably in Immersive Gunners Plaza outside, because I feel like we're going to give this thing a more of a run for its money. And whilst I'm in the process of creating more, it's worth mentioning that you can actually craft this thing on a chemistry station there, and that's what it'll cost you. So not a whole lot, just a whole lot of different things. That's probably easy to find. You couldn't. You could probably find that with scavenging. You can also create the Beowulf HE 50 cal ammo that it uses, and also a bolt, which um, is a distraction tool for your enemies. So you know what? Let's try and use that, even though we probably won't get all that much use out of it anyways. And I've just created a whole lot that I didn't really need. Anyways, we'll move on. Okay, so here we are outside of Immersive Gunners Plaza with our automatic one called the Padder for some reason. And yeah, looks like each one of these barrels gives it a different name. So the Hole Puncher is the one with the standard barrel. The Widowmaker is the one with the heavy barrel. And the Lyncher... Oh. 
Anyways, here's what we look like in third person with this weapon, and yeah, it looks pretty good. The animations line up pretty well, as I'd expect them to for a very high quality mod weapon. So we'll go ahead and get started and stuck into these gunners. Now I've got a suppressor on now, and we should get all of the sneak attack crits in the world. And with the basically zero recoil, we should be able to take them out very, very easily indeed. So I'm just going to sit here until we get detected, because I do want to show off some of the uh, ladder variants of these, because we can't always run around with a suppressor, can we? Well, we can, but I choose not to sometimes, because people get sick of it, I suppose. Anyway, so we are killing everyone pretty easily now. Almost got detected. Oh no, I'm going to run up to them, and now we're detected. We'll go ahead and move on to our semi-auto one here. We've just got the iron sights on this. I did increase the damage just so we wouldn't have to grind and kill these guys, or... I'll hit them with several bullets, like a full mag for them to drop, so that's fine. And I'm perfectly okay with that if you want to increase this. Ooh, that's a plasma grenade. Nice. Um, yeah, if you want to increase this thing's damage just by increasing it by the attachment there, then that's okay with me. It's actually a really good way for modders to actually make sure the players are actually happy with what the damage output is. But anyways, that's the standard barrel there. It's not really doing a lot for me. We'll switch over to the heavy barrel, and that's doing a lot better damage. Now, as you can tell, it sounds kind of weird for what it is. I wouldn't expect this thing to sound like that. Maybe it's because the futuristic barrel is making it sound like that. I'm not really sure. But anyways, we'll take some cover here because these gunners are lighting me up pretty bad as we go. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, we're we'll going to switch that light. Oh, we just can't see out of this thing. Well, that's unfortunate. There's too much speculars on the scope um, lens that we can't actually see what we're shooting at, so that kind of sucks. Anyways, that gunner, those gunners were sliding for a second there, so the damage here isn't all that great. And now we're in Nerd Rage, so we'll bring out our high explosive 50 cal one with a scope. This is one of the Russian scopes. Many, many scope customizations, which, um, they're kind of cool, I guess, but not really my cup of tea. I like to see more variety in my weapon in terms of it, how you can change its performance rather than how you can aim it differently using different sights. Also, I'm being flanked. That's okay. Let's just pop this thing out in bats and do a couple of cheeky little headshots. We should still have some of our damage increasing, um perks going on, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll just spam some criticals. Oh, we didn't actually kill that gunner in one shot. This is the beauty of very hard folks, but we got hurt with splash damage. Not enough though. We killed that next one though. That's good. Okay, so 1400 damage on you. The next one will definitely be a automatic crit, so that works for me. And you know what? Instead of waiting for me to do that, we'll just retarget these guys in bats because, yes, hopefully the splash damage from the 50 will do pretty well, and hopefully we're not close enough for it to kill us, which we weren't. Good stuff. Oh, yep, yep, we're doing good damage there. Almost one shot at that Brigadier, which on very hard is kind of a feat. You could probably do that with a um, Gorse Rifle if you were sneaking, but probably not with a regular Gorse Rifle standard shot. So we're in a lot of trouble now. We've got very little health left, so we'll just go ahead and cheaply aim at their feet so we can just get the explosive damage on them. Breaks their legs. When they're in place, we can easily take shots at their body for even more damage. And you know what? We should probably switch back to a more sneaky approach because any more of me getting shot means I will die. So you just keep on sneaking, Ala. Also, jackets are a thing. I'm going to try jackets, because the jackets are cool. We need some sort of team jacket thing here at Captain Noob for all of my characters. So, for the next few videos, we're, we're going to be wearing jackets, which is fun. Okay. What have we got left? We've got one over there. We've got one over there. We, we'll just go ahead and crit her from long range. With the sneak attack crits attached to it, we'll kill them very, very easily. Yeah, stealth is super overpowered. Even at this range, we can get them with reasonable accuracy. It's like a coin flip chance, so that's pretty good. And I did see one up there. Can we suppress them? Oh, sound's gone. Is it going to come back? Usually it all comes back in one, um, in one second. There it is. But it wasn't too loud there, which is pretty good, I suppose. I think we'll switch back to the sniper, see if we can draw a few of them out. But I don't want to take these guys on directly. I've still got a bunch to clear out at the top of the roof. But if I can clear these guys out with the more heavy ordnance, I feel like we'll be in good shape. Okay, Vats has attacked them. And look at that accuracy. That's really good. That's really good accuracy. And now that we've leveled up, we've got all of our health back. Makes doing a YOLO run pretty hard. We'll see if we can do some good work with the heavy barrel there. Okay, now that we're not facing a weird direction, we can actually see through the sight. 
but is nonetheless very constricting. I can barely see this gunner now. If I wasn't getting these hit markers and the damage um, numbers showing up, I'd have no idea if I was actually hitting that gunner. Well, I suppose I could hear her being shot, so that's a thing. But anyways, yeah. Not too convinced by the uh, heavy barrel there. I feel like if I wanted to use this on the weapon, I'd definitely increase the damage a bit more. It might be sitting on 50% now. Maybe I should make that a little bit higher. But anyways, we'll go ahead and bust open this and clear it out with the only automatic one we've got. So open you come. Good job. I like doing um, pickpock. I mean, not pickpocketing. Lock picking when it's super easy like that. And that is because I made it easy like that. I'm not going to sit here for... 10 seconds trying to work out how to do this properly. Okay, so now that we're not sneaking with the automatic one, we can still see that does pretty good damage. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, firing the 5.56s, obviously it's going to be... Oh, I didn't even need to crit that gun of conscript there. That was a waste. But yes, and as using the 5.56s, it's a little bit limited in the early game, but you could you can find a lot of these in the late game. A lot of high-level gunners carry assault rifles, and usually they've got drums on, so you can find like... 80 in their ammo pool when you kill them, which is great. But anyways, that was the modular rifle known as, hang on, what's it called? Factor. Man, I love forgetting weapon names sometimes. And yes, it did pretty a pretty good job. So we'll move inside here and take out the rest. Righto, one meal later, and we are here in the interior of Gunners Plaza. I just want to take a little bit of time to look at this thing in third person. Now that we've actually got a source of light to look through. So that's what the uh, standard automatic one looks like there. Pretty cool. We'll move over to our standard automatic, I mean standard semi-automatic there. That looks awesome. Really nice weapon there. Um, this is our heavy barrel one with the medium scope. And this is our sniper weapon. So yeah, not really um, over the top of the snipers. And they look very, very similar. But there's enough differences in each to actually make them feel sort of unique. It, or It's sort of like how the combat rifle feels. You can change it up with as many attachments as you want, but you're, you know, it's still a combat rifle, it's still going to perform very well regardless. Anyways, we'll go ahead and shoot these gunners here. We'll try to blaze through this as quickly as possible with our suppressor. I'm not sure how long that's going to last, seeing as we're almost detected. I can't believe those turrets aren't shooting at us yet. Oh, they're already to. But anyways, we're still in caution somehow. Stealth is OP. And now we're in danger, so we'll switch out to our semi-automatic one and try to nail as many headshots as we can there. Quickly duck around the corner whilst we're reloading and quickly take her out. So 242 damage for headshots is actually pretty decent. Now the sights here are actually kind of good to see through, but the recoil animation of them um, makes the whole ring as the front aperture sight. It kind of makes it jump up a little bit, so um, quick follow-up shots are a little bit... Um, hard to do when it's constantly wiggling around the screen. There's also a little bit of wiggle after you've um, settled the weapon and that is um, actually something you can move. The um, mod's called like weapon jiggle remover and I tried that out. I kind of like how the weapon jiggles after because you wouldn't actually hold it completely steady after firing a full volley of shots or one shot. So yeah, I feel like it's a little bit more immersive that way. Anyways, we'll switch over to our um, one with the medium scope. We are in danger now and looking through this scope there We can barely bloody see anything. So that's a shame if we go into not sneak though um, The night vision sort of fades out and there's Captain Bridget. We've got to make sure we take her out We killed the conscript, but Captain Bridget. She's our main target here. Ah, uh, yes You're reloading with that war daddy 10 millimeter animation very nice I like how that affects NPCs too, and then we can go ahead and steal that gunner for, and then we'll go ahead and make sure these gunners die here. So, oh, there's a grenade there. I should probably move for that, even though it wouldn't do all that much damage to me. We'll quickly peek around the corner and take out old mate gunner over here. Look, it's a male gunner. Wow, male gunners exist. I've got a comment that was criticizing me for always playing female characters or something, like... Why do YouTubers always play female characters? I, I, I wasn't... I didn't know there was a rule that I can't play as female characters if I'm not actually a female, but I guess there is a rule now. So I have to go to jail for breaking that law several times over. Also, um, I guess I didn't catch my stream the other day because I definitely wasn't playing as a female then. I'm dead, says Gunner, who is about to be dead. Where are you? Show up. Oh, you are definitely not the gunner that said you're dead, because you're a female gunner, but the gunner that did say it was a male gunner, so yeah, there are also male gunners in here, so 
the question of why is there only female gunners is now void. So yeah, you can um, you can be quiet now. See, it's comments like that you just hit the block button because you know they're just kind of stupid. You don't want them commenting on your channel. There's a couple of people like that I've come up against, but uh, yeah, there's not too much. Also, we shot the grenade right out of his hand there with the explosive damage. Nice. Okay, so that was the, uh, oh, damn it, I keep forgetting the bloody name of it, but it's been like 20 minutes, so never mind. Okay, it was the Factor modular rifle there. I'm really sorry for forgetting its name, but I had a, I had a good meal, and I kind of forgot what this thing is, but yes, I probably won't forget it now, because it's actually been quite a pleasant experience with using this gun, so we'll move on to a monster, then we'll call it a video. Okay, time to fight a giant lobster in the middle of the day. So there he is, he's actually showing himself. Maybe he comes out during the day, that'd be nice. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and try to kill him as fast as possible, doing the best damage on him first up to give ourselves a good start before he starts charging at me and spitting his insta-killing gill at me. So we'll go ahead and crit him there, and ooh, yes, doing pretty well so far. All of those shots seem to connect. And now with all of those sneak attack crits out of the way, he's about at half health, hasn't actually mutated yet, which is a shame, but we'll get him to mutate pretty soon here, and that'll be good. Or maybe he did mutate and I didn't actually see it. Possibly he has, because he's um, under half health, and usually he mutates before then, so that's good. Okay, we've got a full bar of AP, we might as well use this thing a little bit. And looking at this da- oh, there he goes, there's the mutate. We'll go ahead and spam some crits in his face there, as we get a camera view of nonsense. Oh, he's getting closer. And he's actually hit me there with his invisible um, death spit there, so yeah, it's pretty dangerous. So what I'm going to do now is do a tactical use of Aqua Girl perk here, and whilst I'm swimming, completely undetectable. So whilst he's still in caution, he is in fact in caution, and in Fallout 4, in caution, you can sneak, you can get sneak attack criticals, that's also a glowing one there. And unfortunately we got spotted by that particular Mylurk, but he didn't really um, transfer the spotting information to his mates, so we can take out that one nice and easily. Now, whilst I'm swimming around here, I think the other, oh there he is, okay. So, ah, he's just standing there, that's good. As you can tell we get even more sneak attack crits on him, I really do like using the, um, um, Aqua Girl perk to completely remove my detection and that actually makes him super easy to defeat. Okay, we'll move. Oh, he's spitting. He's spitting over here. That's actually kind of dangerous also. He took a lot of damage for some reason. I think he might have run over some rad barrels or something and it did tiny bits of damage to him. We'll switch over to our sniper. As you can tell, he's not exactly aware of where we are now. Go back into sneak. Oh, nope. He's, hit, he's found us again. That's fine. He hit us again. I think one more hit will actually no. Now we can do good damage on him. Oh, this thing sounds so much better in slow motion, I'll tell you that much. Okay, whilst we're reloading that one, it's just a waste of time to use it. So we'll switch to our normal semi-auto one. Not doing it for me. We'll switch over to our scoped one. Hopefully that'll do better damage. Ooh, we got a little bit more on his face there. We've got a cheeky little headshot. And you know what? We're pre I'm pretty sure we can just finish him off in bats now. So, I think that'll be it. We'll do another crit. 624 damage on the crit. That's pretty good. Oh, we've got another one. We did actually get hit by a spit just then. I heard my... Oh, heard the sound of taking damage in slow motion there. But that defense saved their asses there. Have a stim pack. So, there you have it. That was the factor. Hell yeah, I remembered it this time. Modular rifle in its many forms there. It's a definite yes from me. If you want to download this, I highly recommend it. And there's going to be um, updates in the future which will actually add more to this weapon according to its Nexus site um, page, which is good. Also, now I've got to kill all the baby lobsters. Down you go. And to make sure these guys don't disturb my outro, I'll kill them too. So, if you'd like to see this thing in your game, links will be in the description. Not sure if this one's on Xbox One yet. It's only new to the Nexus mods, so you might be it might be a little bit of time before you actually see it. But, if there is, I'll pop a link down there. I'll also pop a link if it happens to show up a few days after publishing the video. I know it did for the um, service rifles uh, a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks back. I can't remember when I did that. But yeah, good weapon. Download it. It's good stuff. Thank you for watching, guys. Also, that's combat rifle animations in third person. Lazy. Nah, just kidding. Thank you for watching, guys.